Hello there and welcome. I'm Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up embeds that are customized within Discord. But the difference in this video is because there's a lot of embed videos out there on YouTube. In this video, and you can do them within Discord, and it only takes a minute or two. Completely customized embeds. And this is from a bot that I've been introduced by via a bit of a fluke, actually. Somebody emailed me. There's a guy called Chicken Dinner who has developed a bot for Discord. He's only 16 years old. And he's obviously very talented because this bot is very nice. It's a really well-functioning, tight, bug-free bot that I've seen so far. I've done a lot of testing on this. Chicken Dinner asked me if I'd create a video about his embed bot. But actually, I just really like this bot. And so I really felt compelled to do a video. One, to help him out. This isn't a paid thing or anything like that. I just really like the bot. I don't really use embeds too much in my Discord. But obviously, embeds are created automatically sometimes. And I'll just discuss some of the details later on in this video between an automatic embed and a customized embed and also the traditional route of creating an embed versus this bot which is a really awesome bot shout out to chicken dinner please keep up the good work in development dude you're obviously very talented if you do find this useful hit the like i really appreciate it comment and show some love to chicken dinner if you want to check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine dana feel free to do so let's do this Okay, so first of all, the bot itself is called Embedinator. Kind of reminds me of the word Terminator. It's not going to terminate your Discord, I can guarantee that. First of all, you need to visit Embedinator.net. You can also find the bot itself on top.gg by searching Embedinator. There are a lot of bots out there that create embeds. They aren't as good as this. It's really neat, really nice, and really, really simple. The steps it takes and a lot of extra functions that I'll discuss in this video as well. So when you find and click on the Embedinator bot here, you'll come to this page. It's got views and invites and all sorts of other information and a list of commands for example the help command if you do the e exclamation point help command it'll come up with this image here which is a list of all the commands that you can use so first of all what actually is an embed for those of you that know great for those of you that don't know it basically is a way of creating like what's called like a pop out text here customized it puts a banner color here all this you can define the author name an avatar name a thumbnail an image and then some key information about well anything but the thing is this normally links to a third-party website and you need to have some form of generated third-party website that creates the embed for you with this bot you don't need to visit a third-party website you can do it with inside your own discord channel and it deletes all of the messages that are created as a result of creating this embed and just leaves a really nice neat customized embed that you've created all of the elements for the website the avatar the thumbnail the link and you can even create web hooks from it as well so this is exactly what an embed is and we're basically creating these customized embeds for announcements on your discord information or pinned messages or all kinds of stuff like that so normally when you're creating embeds you'd have to go to a website like something like this and you'd create all the fields you'd go through python code and it's just a lot more complicated it takes a lot longer to do it on a website like this it's a lot less clean and to be honest with you it's just a little bit of a janky process i mean it gets really really complicated when you then look at customizing embeds for a specific website that you may have already the embed Terminator bot cuts out all of this crap. I mean, just Googling this stuff alone is kind of frightening enough. So we now know a little bit more about what embeds are, what the normal process might be and what they might be used for. Here's an example of like a simple embed just from pasting, for example, your YouTube channel. This is auto generated from YouTube and then is pulled all of the key points of data into your Discord. Now you may want to create, for example, for your YouTube, a customized embed. that's just a little bit more inviting or maybe you want to make more of a customized embed for example for like a giveaway or something like that by the way this is a customized embed that i've made in a matter of a minute or two and that's actually something i'm going to be doing my next youtube video will be giving away an actual microphone so subscribe to the channel if you want to be in with a chance of winning that microphone but first of all installation i've already got embedinator installed on my discord so i'm first going to uninstall this by going onto my test server i'm going to go into the server settings and i'm going to go into the integration section here i'm going to manage this here by clicking manage on the embedinator and I'm going to remove that bot integration. So first, we're going to go on to embedinator.net, invite now. This will basically ask me to log in, and it'll ask me what server I want to add this bot to. You may have to first just enter your Discord details here. I'm going to add this to my test server and click continue. It just asks you for some permissions here. None of these permissions are too scary, so I'm going to authorize this. Tell it that I'm human, even though I'm a bot. 
And there we go. Now that we go back onto my Discord, you can see that this is installed. So first, I'm just going to talk a little bit about role permissions for Embedinator. By default, under the permissions tab here, anyone that has the ability to manage messages as any of their current roles on Discord will be able to create embeds on your Discord. So you just need to be careful in general who you allow to manage messages, but in particular for creating embeds. But there is an easier function here. Within embed, there's a thing that you can do that basically defines specific specifically which roles you want to be able to use this embed command and create the embeds. So first of all, I'm going to type E exclamation point help here. This will give me a list of all of the functions. And I just want to look at this role permissions one here that says allows the specified role to run the embed command. Now, as I've mentioned, by default, anyone that has that managed messages permission will be able to run them. But by setting a specific role, it removes that from any of those roles and essentially enables just the roles that you specify to create these embeds. So, for example, if you wanted only your verified members to be able to create customized embeds with Embedinator, you just type this command and it'd remove it from the other roles, allow it only for those roles. So let's have another look at some of the basic commands we've got here that augment the process of creating an embed. I want to talk first about setting the actual prefix because if you don't like the default prefix of E exclamation mark, you can set prefix and then, for example, you might want to use a forward slash. We get a confirmation from Embedded and I'd say the prefix has successfully changed to forward slash here. And now when I do forward slash help instead of E exclamation point help, it will show me the new help commands. And as you can see, this has dynamically changed this to forward slash for the commands as well which is a nice, neat little feature. We can look at some statistics, forward slash stats, or even just information about the specific server that you're in. So this is information about my test server here. Obviously, we don't have many members in my test server. And we can even do things like grabbing someone's avatar with the forward slash avatar and then someone's name. And that will just grab the avatar. I can then right click and copy that link. You can also store the logs from this bot into a specified channel by doing forward slash set logs or by default E exclamation point set logs and then name the channel where you want to set the logs from this bot. So now that we've got some of that kind of stuff out of the way, I'm just going to talk about some practical things. You may want to have a specific admin channel or maybe the mod channel where only certain people can create the embeds because you probably don't want to be creating embeds within the channel where you want the embed to appear because it can can be a bit janky and also other people can interrupt the process of creating an embed so you want a private channel or at least a restricted channel like a mod channel where you can create those embeds so i've created a server admin category here with a create embeds channel so this is where i'm actually going to physically create the embeds themselves but if you've got the permissions to do this you can create these anywhere else so now we're going to go through the process of actually creating an embed for a giveaway so just for simplification i'm going to set the prefix back to E exclamation mark because that is the default for this bot. So we need to do E exclamation mark embed to actually start the process to create the embed. Now at any point here, if you make any mistake, you can simply type cancel and it will start the process all over again for you and delete the messages. But basically what's happening now is Embedinator is going to step by step tell you what it needs from you to define in order to create the custom embed. You can type N forward slash A if at any of those fields at any point you simply don't want to add any information for. So you can keep it really simple for a very straightforward, simple embed. You can make it really complicated if you've got loads of information. So step one is entering the author's name. So that would be me. Two is entering the author's icon URL. So for this, I'm going to use the E exclamation point avatar machine Dana. So I'm going to take my own avatar. I'm going to copy the link. Now, because I've not entered a URL, Embedinator's basically in red asked me to do this again, but it's also returned the avatar for me reference to the command that I use. So I'm going to right click and copy link here. I'm going to paste the link and that will now be used as the author's icon URL. Then the author URL itself. Now you can put this as any kind of profile URL or your link tree or anything like that. You could just type NA if you don't want a link. For me, I'm just going to take my YouTube URL and paste it in here. Now we're going to enter a title. Once again, this is an actual giveaway that I am going to be doing on my next video. So feel free to hit the sub button if you want to get involved in the giveaway. So I'm setting a title here, something nice and big and bold. Now we want to enter a description, something that just fits with whatever it is that you're doing here. So I've created a description that I feel will hook people in a little bit. Step six, enter a title URL. So for this title here, we can enter the URL. I'm just going to use my YouTube one again. At this point, we can choose a color for the embed. It's essentially a color of the banner here and also the 
text that will come alongside it. If you're not sure about the standard colors, well, you can use hex colors specifically here, or you can use the standard Discord colors that are available. I'm just going to type E exclamation point color. That'll return... Now, just to demonstrate, I actually made a mistake here. What I needed to type was colors with an S on the end of it. I've just typed cancelled to start the process again. And I'll go through the process of adding that. And when I get to the color step, I'll put an S on the end of it. So here we are at the color step again. I'm going to put E exclamation mark colors with an S. This will return the colors that are available or you can use a hex. Bear in mind, opacity needs to be at 100. I'm going to go with yellow here, so I'll type that in caps. We can have like an image URL. For me, this makes sense to be a picture of the microphone itself. Step nine is entering a thumbnail URL. So this is like a thumbnail in the top right hand corner. So for this, I'm going to have like a GIF giveaway. This is one that I just found on Google. Make sure that it's .gif at the end if you want to add GIFs to this. And then the the actual GIF itself will appear on Discord. You can now add some footer text. Best of luck, everyone. And we can choose where we want to add like a footer icon URL, some other icon at the bottom of the embed. I'm going to say NA for this. And then whether we want a timestamp of when that message was created on there. Because you may want like a permanent one where it doesn't actually show the timestamp. I'm actually going to put true for this because I want to see timestamp on the message. One of the final steps here is to actually choose where you want the embed to send. So we're just going to type the channel name. So for example, if you had an announcements channel, you would type the hashtag announcements or whatever. I'm going to just put this in my general channel here. The final thing is we can create a custom webhook for this. If you're a nerd and you know all about webhooks, I don't. So I'm going to put false for this and the embed should now confirm itself. Now, a neat little tool here is it just links us to where that embed is actually located. Of course, we could just click on the general here, but it's a nice little tool that we get a confirmation and we click on this. And as we can see, it looks really, really nice. It's in yellow. It's got the GIF there. It's got the title and it's got the image, the footer text, the timestamp, everything that we wanted. And it's just created it all from within your Discord. That's taken me all of a couple of minutes to create that. Final thing, if you do have any issues, you can get in touch with Chicken Dinner with the E exclamation point support. This just basically allows you to join the chicken dinner embedinator server ask him questions he's been very very helpful and i'm sure he'll be very grateful to help you through any problems you may have so there you have it. I know this was probably a longer video than you might have expected, but there's a lot of detailed information I've put in there. Once you get used to the Embedinator bot, it's really, really nice to use. You can use them for small, simple things or much more complicated embeds. And it's really easy and simple to use. The bot literally holds your hand throughout the process of creating the embed. You don't need to code anything. You don't need to go to a third party website. It's all there for you. If you found this useful, once again, hit the like button, give Chicken Dinner some love and... I'll see you later.